stay-at-home orders are being lifted all over the country, and while some people have been waiting for weeks and can't wait to get out there, others are perhaps dreading it. Dr. Alina of Villanueva joins me this morning with ways to manage the stress, the anxiety that comes along with getting back to quote-unquote normal. She joins me this morning to talk about some of this. And Dr. Villanueva, here's the thing. It's not just about preparing yourself now physically to go out there, right, grabbing the mask and what have you. It's also about getting ready mentally. Absolutely, Aroxia. You know, um, awareness is going to be our biggest asset in, you know, being able to help manage our anxiety, staying in the present moment, right? And and so, you know, for those of for those people who are anxious, you know, uh, about you know the reopening of our states, we also have to remember that this is a wonderful, this is wonderful time. This is a this is great news. And as we reemerge back into our daily routines, it's just really important to remember that everyone is getting reacquainted with everyday life outside their homes, right? And for some, there will be anxiety. For some, it's going to be celebration. But if we as human beings can remain cognizant of the fact that everyone is going through the process in their own way, then we can foster a better sense of understanding and compassion as we all get used to getting back to life. So your tip one is to basically focus on what you can control and mentally prepare as you go outside. Your second tip is to start out with baby steps, right? Yes, absolutely. You know, start off with a small amount of time outside, you know, before uh, you just jump out. So if you're having anxiety, just, you know, increase the amount of time that you're spending outside consecutively over time. And we should remember to, you know, to uh, remember the fact that everyone is going through this process in their own way. And if we can understand that each person is different in their approach, we can foster a better sense of understanding and compassion as we get used to getting back to life. And, you know, just be easy on yourself and take the time that you need. And to, speaking of what you can control, tip three here, visit places with perhaps where there's less of a crowd. You can control where you go. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, find places, if you're, if you're struggling with anxiety, find places that you're familiar with, right? And and look for places that maybe don't have as you know as big of a crowd uh, so that uh, so that you don't put yourself into a situation where you, you know, perhaps have a panic attack. You know, we as a planet, we've experienced a very traumatic event and, you know, anxiety is the body's natural response to a perceived traumatic event. Um, and in this particular time, you know, the anxiety was warranted, but as we're emerging from this shelter in place order, we just wanna to remember to just be gentle with ourselves and most of all, be compassionate and gentle with others because we have to remember also that, you know, while we may be going through the process one way, somebody else may be processing it in a totally different way. Yeah, I like that tip. Go to places you're familiar with. That is a bit of more comforting. Also, you say talk to a trusted person about your fears. It is really important to continue to vent and share how you're feeling. Oh my gosh, absolutely. We need to keep the um, all forms of communication open with our friends and with our family. And I feel like, you know, understanding that Anxiety almost always stems from fear, right? Which is false evidence appearing real. And in this case, it's absolutely true that reframing our mind around the most accurate and current data about the virus is gonna be the most important way to help extinguish anxiety. You know, changing our mindset by taking action is also another really good way to help squelch anxiety. And then focusing on self-care things like, you know, eating healthy, non-processed foods, exercising, you know, writing in your gratitude journal every day is also a really good way to help, you know, um, eliminate anxiety. and. And there are more sources available through our website at modernholistichealth.com if anybody wants to go and check out some free resources. Okay, yeah, that fresh air, I'm telling you, I've experienced it myself. This week, it was so good for my mental health. So absolutely. Thank you so much for your tips and your insight. Dr. Villanueva, have a fabulous weekend.
Thanks. Bye.